Well, we're still staying with Adamawa State, but this time we're going back to the insecurity there, which has led to the closure of 30 boarding schools by the state government. And joining us live is the Director General of Media and Communications to the Adamawa State Governor, Solomon Kumaga. Good evening, Mr. Kumaga. Uh, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? We are good, too. All right, so how will the closure of the schools help fight against insecurity? I mean, I, I, I have not gotten the question properly, but... Uh, but uh, okay, let me I give it back to you. Let, let me ask this again. In yes. How will the closure of the 30 schools help fight insecurity in Adamawa State? Well, uh, today, as we're talking, the governor has uh, overwhelmed the issue of insecurity and to the extent that uh, the issue of uh, kidnapping, the issue of insurgency, the issue of armed banditry, the issue of uh, cattle rustling has been brought down to the barest minimum. It has been brought down to the barest minimum, you say? Ye yes. So why the closure of the 30 schools? The closure of the 30 schools is a proactive measurement so that uh, we will not come back and be talking about why did we not see this coming? Okay, the Northern That's Elders why... Forum... The Northern Elders Forum has condemned the closures of market and schools and the shutting of telecommunication services in places like Zamfara. The forum says it is pointless if the kidnappers and bandits and terrorists are not tackled head on. Do you agree? I do agree with you, but the fact of this matter is that in Adamar said we don't have uh, the issue of closure of market, the closure of roads. The, the truth of the matter is that what we are doing is proactive okay. so that in the end, we'll come back and be regretting and say, why did we not take this measure? Okay, so what are the other measures that the state government, the Adamawa state government, is taking to tackle the problem of insecurity in Adamawa? Yeah, we have, we have, we have re, re, restructured and revigorated our security infrastructure to the extent that today uh, we, we could be able to determine what will happen if there is a security threat. Adama is so peaceful today that a lot of people can move over. We don't have any, uh, any lockdown. We don't have any coffee. As I'm talking to you now, I am in one of the areas in Jambutu. And Jambutu is a far flung area, almost a satellite town outside the, city, the center of Jamaica. So that is to tell you the kind of security we have. Hmm. Well, there are fears that schools closure um, could further dent the already poor um, education indices in northern Nigeria. How do you respond to it this? Will not, it will not affect security. Uh, it will not affect the issue of education in Adama State. After all, what we've done is that in Adama State we'll be able to meet up the education calendar. It is only very few schools, public schools, that have not been able to meet up the calendar. And by 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 by, by September 19th or towards October, this, this school should be reopened and that will be, will be part of the education calendar and that nothing will be disrupted at all. Nothing will be disrupted at all? Nothing will be disrupted at all. After all, we all try, let me just give you an example. Most private schools have already finished their third time only very few schools. The schools we now have in public schools, especially those ones that are boarded, is that they are doing their they are doing their GIS two uh, lessons, extra lessons, and other things. And that all the, uh, by uh, NECO and WAEC 
I've, I've already been finished. So we, do, we are not behind schedule in any way. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Mr. Solomon Kumagar, uh, he is the Director General of Media and Communications to the Adama West State Government. Thank you for your time and explanations about things happening in your Not state. And good luck with your fight against uh, insecurity. Thank you, my pleasure. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.